Hello everyone, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, where I'm going to take a look at how Hurricane Ian is being rendered in the game as it approaches the west coast of Florida. And we are going to be flying the Carinado Ovation. I decided that last time I tried to take a look at a Typhoon. It was in the DC-6 by PMDG, and it didn't really get knocked around very much, so I wanted a sort of more dramatic flight, if you will. And I feel like the Ovation might uh, give us that. Also, I haven't flown it in a while, so... It was up and we will take this flight path. We are real time with real weather and we will see how it goes. We can see the hurricane on the map and how we will be cutting through it. And without further ado, let's get to Orlando where I'll be taking off from and see how it goes. Well, it already looks interesting right now here in Orlando. Not a big surprise. We've got a lot of rain. Uh, I would have liked uh, playing with windshield wipers, but all right, we are gonna see how interesting it is to take off. I will keep, uh, okay, hold on, let's not deviate too much. I'll keep this little VFR map up because it'll show our wind speed. And we can see it's already 30 knots on the ground. And I think I'm veering to one side because of the wind. Um, apparently it starts without the brakes on because I haven't released the brakes. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, the wind is causing me to tilt sideways. I think we can... Okay, yep, yeah, alright. Up we go. Unfortunately, this little map doesn't have our track on it, but at least the GPS is over there. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a, it's a more interesting thing from out here. Okay, 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 we're going sideways there. That's fine, we were turning that way anyway. So, already pretty strong here in Orlando, even though the storm still seems to be just making landfall. Again, this is about 4.40 p.m. Eastern Time. I guess I should note that it's September 28th, 2022. Well, we should make it to Tampa really quickly with the tailwind as it is. But I suppose the wind will change directions as we go along. Panel lights. Ah, there we go. So, hopefully everybody is staying safe from this thing. Best experienced in a sim. Obviously, the... Hurricane has already caused the rollback of the space launch system and a delay in an Atlas V launch, I believe. Oh, we can see some rain streaking there and a little gap in the clouds, so... Probably we can get above it for, uh, for a little bit soon. The gusts have sort of stopped. We're more stable right now. Occasional gaps. sort of an eerie situation here at 7,000 feet at the moment. Yep, we are, we are above the storm mostly. Though the clouds are taller over here. Well, 9,000 feet. sort of in a little pocket between the clouds. Okay, well, as nice as it, is, as it is to be above the clouds, it's very scenic with all these clouds like this. Very nice sort of cloud cover we've got here. I think they have certainly improved the clouds since the release of the game. But we need to get back into the thick of it to see what's going on, so I will descend. Unfortunately, I didn't quite hit the previous point on my GPS. Oh well. So it looks like uh, it made its landfall just a little while ago as a Category 4 storm. And it looks like uh, around Fort Myers is where it uh, made landfall. But going down rather quickly. Oh, oh, oh okay, that's going to break the plane.
probably should have broken the plane already, but... Oh, uh, it's, it's really tough to keep it stable in this right now. Uh, it's very gusty. Not so much pushing us side to side, but uh, up and down very much so. High overspeed potential in this. Oh, 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 it suddenly started going up really fast. Okay, taking a look outside. Well, there's Tampa for you. Sixty knots now, pretty steadily at uh, three thousand five hundred feet. Okay. Well, I don't dare to go much below two thousand here. I think we'll be getting a decent sense of the wind speeds at two thousand. I mean, just the way the vertical speed indicator just sort of flips back and forth a whole lot suggests that I should not try to get any lower. Well, nearly 70 knot winds now. Still flying over Tampa. Could probably go a little bit lower. Well, I'm just going to head along with the wind here. You can see... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Slow down. Yeah, 250 knot ground speed. I'll certainly cover our distance pretty quickly. I think I can step outside for a sec. We can see some land down there. I need to double check the barometric pressure. I think I'm probably lower than... I ought to be. Let's see now. 29.47. Not getting jostled too much at the moment. And actually the winds are slower right now than they were just a little while ago. And I think it hurt me. <laughs> now we've got some gusts and a little bit more wind. Okay, yeah, getting jostled about here. We are approaching Sarasota now, and sometimes it hits close to 80 knots on the wind speed, but it's varying quite a lot. Once the wind changes on us, it's got to be hard going. We are not going to be going very fast. Okay, saw 85 knots at the peak there. We're around 80 knots now, and getting bounced a bit. Taking a look outside. The only question is whether I see the ground in an unfriendly manner. If you see the ground in something like this, that's probably not a good sign, actually. Okay, so at Sarasota, this is how it is. About 75 knots-ish. Oh, we can see ground, alright. Uh, well, that's a good sign I should double-check my pressure and indeed it has gone down 90 knot wind now and well I went directly inland while I was trying to adjust my my altimeter there's actually a gap here Don't know if we're like approaching an eye or not. Uh, well, this may in fact be the eye. I don't know. We'll see whether the winds calm down at all. Well, if this isn't the eye, then it's doing a good job of pretending to be one. But the wind speed is still pretty high up there. And remember, 92 knots is well over uh, 100 miles an hour. Okay, yep, yeah, we're back in the clouds. Oh, we got... I saw 99 knots there. I'm going a little bit low. It looks like the pressure has probably changed. I saw 100 knots there. Yes, the pressure has changed. Uh, 
under not winds. Fortunately, still going the way we're going. I guess in theory, across the eye, the wind should change, I would think, but... So far, it's all been in our direction. Okay, wow, 105. Well, maybe that wasn't the eye back there. Maybe it was just one of those bands and a gap in the bands of the hurricane. Because it's getting faster here and the winds haven't changed direction. We're approaching Port Charlotte area. I said made landfall close to Fort Myers, so I guess that makes sense. We passed Englewood and the main storm surge warnings are for between Englewood and Bonita Beach. Oh no, we do not want to go down there. Well, this is how it is. But again, at least we're not struggling against the wind right now. The strongest winds, according to a uh, website, were like around 1,500 feet, so trying to stay close to that. Oh well, here's another gap. Well, is this the eye? This is very eye-like, and it's in roughly the right place now. Well, it, it certainly looks like a well-formed sort of thing. Very distinct area here. And the winds do seem to be calming here at lots of gusting. Oh, we see another plane there. Probably not the only ones checking out this place. Yeah, my bet is this is the eye. I mean, the uh, wind speed has dropped down dramatically. You see somebody... That's probably not an airliner. It's probably some other plane that uh, the sim is using an airliner model for, even though it's probably not supposed to be one. Well, the wind is changing. So, yeah, uh, this uh, certainly seems to have been the eye. Well, I don't know what this island is called because it's not marked on the map, but it's got St. James City at the bottom end of it, so we're flying right over that. Next to Cape Coral and Fort Myers here. Uh, it's getting a little bit more rainy now. Wind is now pushing us to the east. And it's, the speed is picking up a bit. But it still looks clear up front for a bit. It's always a little bit dangerous to just be in this outside view without seeing anything going on. And I usually, when in the outside view, tend to pull up to make sure we don't go over speed. So, St. James City. And yeah, we should probably go more this way. There's this bridge below us. Again, uh, oh, uh... Sanibel Causeway. So Sanibel Causeway there. Oh, uh, well, part of it is uh, currently very watered, which I guess is not entirely un unlikely to be the case. Well, yeah, wind is blowing us due east now. Which sort of suits us. Eventually I want to get to Miami. Whoops, don't want to do that. Uh, so Miami is obviously to the east. Plotted a wind-friendly path here. So at around here is where at the southern end of the peak storm surge. Wind speed seems fairly mild on the southern end here. Okay, so I don't I don't know if we're gonna see faster winds than what we've already seen. We sort of hit a peak at about 105 knots, and that's probably like 120 miles an hour, but just brief peak in the midst of gusts. All right, yeah, I'm gonna get some extra altitude and try to get to Miami without further delay. Not that 50 knots is anything to sneeze at, mind you. Around here, 5,000 feet is good enough to clear the clouds. So there was a formidable one behind us. 
Oh, oh, sudden jostle there. Maybe a bit of a readjustment in the wind patterns or something, you know, they, as they update. Can cause something like that, but it could have been a legit gust, who knows. Well, I think it changed the wind pattern, because if you take a look at the wind speed, it's now 35 knots instead of the 54 that we were just seeing. So yeah, I think that jostle was them updating the the whole weather pattern whenever it happens. And now we've got a 35 knot headwind, so we should... Pr well, I'm already pouring the juice on, so we're not going any faster. So suddenly we're against the wind now. Great. Maybe the whole storm has been changed, and now we have to go through it again to find out what it's really like now. <laughs> No, I think we will be landing at Miami after all. But we will be landing a little bit later than I was hoping for just a few moments ago. Oh, oh, we got jostled again and the winds changed again. Okay, now we've got a 49 knot tailwind. Wish they'd make up their minds about this thing. Okay, well, anyway, we need to... We, we got jostled so much we turned quite a lot. Okay, of course it's pushing us a little bit further north, but... Go like that, alright. Well, okay, hopefully you'll just stick to this one, because this is better than where we were previously, but we'll see. Okay, turning towards the airport now. We are arriving at Miami. It seems not a bad day around here for uh, sightsee, but I'll just land. We've got Miami Executive there. Could land there. I guess I'll just fly straight into Miami Executive. I'm a little bit high for that. No, let's just go for Miami International. It's just a little bit high for Miami Executive. I'd have to go around anyway. Thirty-five knot winds here. It'll be a crosswind either way, whether it's Miami Executive or Miami International. Well, it's like Orlando. Everybody's got their own lake, huh? All right, well, I guess we will be looking at Miami. Okay, getting knocked about a little bit by the wind. Nothing we're not used to by now. And I think Miami has photogrammetry here. Oh, well, look at all those uh, buildings on that island out there. That's... Uh, Sure, that's a great idea right now, but anyway. Downtown Miami is here. Oh. American Airline Dome or something like that? All right, but we do have to turn to get to the runway. So that will have been our tour. And I guess I'll keep the map up just so we can enjoy the actual number of the crosswind that I'll be facing. It doesn't look too bad. It's getting down in a 20 knot region. Well, we're coming in low because of the sightseeing. Oh, okay, probably should not have gone to the exterior view at the moment. Okay, all right. Well, I sit down on part of the runway. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 no. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. I didn't want to exit the runway just yet. Oh, oh! This landing gear is fun. <laughs> Okay, that that one, uh, I see the little lines going. Okay, yeah, this will be fine. All right, we have arrived at Miami. And 
Well, I hope everybody stays as safe as possible from Hurricane Ian and anybody who needs help gets it. It's a lot better experiencing it in the sim than in real life, that's for sure. And with that, I will say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.